we want to find the smallest positive value for theta for which the tangent line to the curve r equals two times e raised to the power of zero point three theta is horizontal. Well the polar curve is graphed here below and notice how it appears that the angle theta we're looking for would be approximately here in the second quadrant where we have a horizontal tangent line at this point. Remember if we have a horizontal tangent line that means dy dx would be equal to zero. And because we have a polar curve dy dx is equal to dy d theta divided by dx d theta which gives us this quotient here. Let's review where this comes from. Assume we have r equals f of theta which means r is a function of theta. We know for polar coordinates x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. But if r equals f of theta, we can write x as x equals f of theta times cosine theta, and we can write y equals f of theta times sine theta. And therefore to find dy d theta, we have to apply the product rule, which gives us this numerator here. We also have to apply the product rule to find dx d theta using our equation here for x, which gives us our denominator. So going back to our example, Notice here we have r equals f of theta, which is equal to two times e raised to the power of zero point three theta, and therefore f prime of theta is going to be equal to two times e raised to the power of zero point three theta times the derivative of zero point three theta with respect to theta, that'd be zero point three, and therefore f prime of theta is equal to well, two times zero point three would be zero point six e to the power of zero point three theta. Now we have all the information we need to find dy dx, so we'll find our derivative, set it equal to zero and solve for theta. So we have dy dx is equal to, the numerator is going to be f prime of theta times sine theta which would be zero point six times e to the zero point three theta times sine theta. Then we have plus f of theta, so plus two e to the zero point three theta times cosine theta, divided by f prime of theta times cosine theta, which would be zero point six e to the zero point three theta cosine theta, and then we have minus f of theta times sine theta, which would be two e to the zero point three theta sine theta. And again, because we're trying to find where we have a horizontal tangent line, we set this equal to zero and solve for theta. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. So to solve this equation, we know a fraction is only going to be zero when the numerator is zero and the denominator is non-zero. So in order to solve this equation here, we can set the numerator equal to zero and solve for theta. If you're still not convinced, we could write zero in a fraction form, for example, zero over one, cross multiply, and solve the resulting equation. But notice how we'd have the numerator times one is equal to the denominator times zero, and therefore we're just solving the equation where the numerator is equal to zero. Notice how the exponential part is a common factor Let's go ahead and factor that out. So we have e to the zero point three theta times the quantity zero point six sine theta plus two cosine theta equals zero. Well this product equals zero when either factor is equal to zero, but this exponential factor is never going to be zero. And therefore to solve this equation, we just need to set this factor here equal to zero and solve for theta. So we have zero point six sine theta plus two cosine theta equals zero. Let's go ahead and subtract two cosine theta on both sides of the equation. That would give us zero point six sine theta is equal to negative two cosine theta. Now from here, remember sine theta divided by cosine theta is equal to tangent theta, so notice how if we divide both sides by cosine theta, here we have tangent theta. Let's also divide by a factor of zero point six on both sides. So now if we simplify, notice the left side here simplifies to tangent theta, and the right side 
simplifies to just negative two divided by zero point six. Let's finish this on the next slide. If tangent theta is equal to negative two divided by zero point six, we can take the inverse tangent or arctangent on both sides of the equation, and therefore theta is going to be equal to inverse tangent or arctangent of negative two divided by zero point six. And now from here, we'll have to go to the calculator to get a decimal approximation. But remember, inverse tangent will only return an angle in the first or fourth quadrant, and we're looking for an angle in the second quadrant. Let's verify we are in radian mode, so we'll press the mode key. Notice radian is highlighted, so we'll go back to the home screen. We'll press second tangent, negative two, divided by point six, close parenthesis, and enter. So if we round to four decimal places, this will be approximately negative one point two seven nine three. Notice this angle is terminal in the fourth quadrant, not the second quadrant. If we go back to our graph, the calculator gave us the angle in the fourth quadrant, somewhere down here, where we do have a horizontal tangent line, but the angle the calculator gave us is not the smallest positive value. So in order to find this angle here in the second quadrant, we'll have to take the angle the calculator gave us and add pi radians, which will give us the angle here in the second quadrant. So going back to the calculator, since we already have this value in here, we can just press plus and then second caret or second exponent key here for the pi, press enter. This is the angle we're looking for in the second quadrant. It's approximately 1.86 two, three. This would be the smallest positive value for theta where we have a horizontal tangent line. So our solution is theta is approximately 1.8623 radians. I hope you found this helpful.